ladies and gentlemen. We meet in an hour of change and challenge, in a decade of hope and fear, in an age of both knowledge and ignorance. The vast stretches of the unknown and the unanswered and the unfinished still far outstrip our collective comprehension. But condense, if you will, the 50,000 years of man's recorded history in a time span of but a half a century. Stated in these terms, only five years ago, man learned to write and use a cart with wheels. The printing press came this year. And then, less than two months ago, Newton explored the meaning of gravity. Last month, electric lights and telephones and automobiles and airplanes became available. Only last week did we develop penicillin and television. This is a breathtaking pace. Surely the opening vistas of space promise high costs and hardships, as well as high reward. So it is not surprising that some would have us stay where we are a little longer, to rest, to wait. But this country of the United States was not built by those who waited and rested and wished to look behind them. All great and honorable actions are accompanied with great difficulty, and both must be enterprised and overcome with answerable courage. If this capsule history of our progress teaches us anything, it is that man in his quest for knowledge and progress is determined and cannot be deterred. The exploration of space is one of the great adventures of all time. And no nation which expects to be the leader of other nations can expect to stay behind this race for space. This generation does not intend to founder in the backwash of the coming age of space. We mean to be a part of it. We mean to lead it. We set sail on this new sea because there is new knowledge to be gained. Its conquest deserves the best of all mankind and its opportunity for peaceful cooperation may never come again. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. The growth of our science and education will be enriched by new knowledge of our universe and environment, by new techniques of learning and mapping and observation by new tools and computers for industry, medicine, the home, as well as the school. Space and related industries are generating new demand and investment in skilled personnel. Many years ago, the great British explorer George Mallory, who was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it. He said, because it is there. Well, space is there and we're going to climb it. And the moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. The most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. Thank you.